friends don't take us seriously as a country a whole or international airport international there is no water there is no power it's like huh like seriously like guys who travels and gets to an airport and it's dark literally those are the only lights there but we're sitting in the dark and i don't think so we can take everything so. just don't take the wi-fi <laughs> The people not coming to sit on these chairs because it's dark, as if they don't sit in darkness in their homes when there's no jetty. This is like a posh. We're posh now. Oh well, we're gonna enjoy the dark. Fine and smooth flight uh, towards Cape Town. Forecast conditions for Cape Town is partly cloudy with a. made it to Cape Town and I just thought I'd quickly do a room tour of our room we're obviously here with Spotify and Maybelline again and we're hosting tomorrow so looking forward to the Cape Town le leg because obviously like the Joe book one was super nice but I'm hoping Cape Town is just as good so yeah I just thought I'd quickly show you guys where we're staying so we are at the Grand Daddy Hotel and as you guys saw when we're entering we entered the Grand Daddy Suite I think this is the Grand Daddy Suite so this is basically the entrance I totally love this whole mirror vibe because at least like you can see yourself as soon as you enter and then this is our room it's like the vibe has all like Alice in Wonderland so it's really really giving Alice in Wonderland nice thing we have a TV but we're not here long because we're just spending two nights here so this is our bed I'm obviously sleeping on that side being the little sister you get to choose which side you want to sleep at and your big sister just has to agree so she usually sleeps closer to the door but because I'm a scary cat I always take the other side <laughs> which is further from the door because she needs to protect me when so I yeah you the airport you didn't want. what do you mean when I'm really telling you that car's coming for you I'm like, oh, ah it God. wasn't and then this is the bathroom so cute um so yeah it's also got like a bathtub and then we've got our towels here as you guys can see like the vibe is really really giving alice in wonderland shower a bath me again okay so when we head out from the bedroom corridor we have yo you scared me i'm like who's that opening the door we have the living room here it's definitely even the colors guys are definitely giving alice in wonderland if you've never watched it so this is our little living room and then they ordered us some food because we were arriving late so we just have like some chicken strips burgers wings and some chips another tv there and then this is the outside section that we have so we've got this cute little outdoorsy area which is nice and then i think 
up there is the rooftop where everything will be happening tomorrow so yeah let us get some food i'm just gonna have to lock it shirt creased and unironed because there's no iron oh my god oh my god should i try away something else guys this looks so bad Let's steal Tandy's jacket. She's not here anyway, so. You're not here, we steal your stuff. Make me sweat. Make me harder. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Make me sweat. I think that looks better than the shirt. Although I wanted white and this is hot. I feel like this might be better. Because at least I still look put together. Yeah. You can go in this.
show you guys what the outside looks like during the day. It's like a pretty outside area. I really want to change the flooring in my um, upstairs area and maybe get something like this, but I don't think I'll be allowed to. Maybe just add some fun greenery. This is cute. Hey guys, so we just changed rooms and we're in a different room now because the one that we were in before we just realized it's not going to work when we're shooting. This one has better lighting and like for our get ready with me it will definitely work so i'm just gonna do another room tour and show you guys so this one's called the sugar daddy suite the other one was granddaddy something um so yeah this is the one we're staying at and that's the entrance when you come in and then as you can see like the colors are so much better for our get ready with me obviously you need to keep a certain aesthetic for your page so yeah this one has better lighting as well and yeah this is where the bed is this is the bed obviously we've got pajamas so they changed the pajamas compared to last time and then the goodie bag is also a little bit different so for the joe book one i actually didn't show you guys we got these knits and also like a lip gloss from maybelline but this time we got like a gua sha and a jade roller over here as you guys can see gua sha and a jade roller and then we have i think a speaker in here is it a jbl mm -hmm. Mm -mm. no it's oh it's av av speaker but it looks like one of those jbl ones then we've got our pajamas which is super cute can't wait to change into those later obviously they've given everyone a ring light in their room to be able to create their content um and then oh this one has a iron and then this is the bathroom of course and the shower uh, it's so much it's so much similar to the other one but we just like the layout of this one better and it will work with our content so yeah this is what it looks like.
and heading off this is my outfit i am a sheen girl through and through except for my shoes <laughs> so literally sheen sandy please come show them your outfit quickly sheen yeah so we both <laughs> sheen <laughs> my bag is sheen um, I'll put the links below, but I don't think you guys would want the skirt because it's literally see-through. You can literally see my underwear and my ass if the lighting is like right on me. And then obviously the brown top. And yeah, we're on some Tyler. Make me sweat. Make me water. Make me lose my breath. So yeah, this is the outfit. Let's go. Meet the bathroom when you exit shop, you turn right past the corner, you see the bathroom after the sign that says get ready with music. Okay. Get ready with me event, right? And for me, when it comes to music, my go-to platform is no brainer, Spotify. Right? Come on now. I know you enjoyed your outfits, but now I, I need you to let yourself loose. Let yourself go, okay? Right? Loose is the way. Loose is the way, okay? And then we know we know the steps were a bit of a situation and um, you guys probably have already clocked in your discovery steps, no? Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
No, no, it's my usual voice. Are we going to dance now? No, 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 I said I was. No, but last week you were jiving. I was relaxed. Also, I can't turn around jiving. Turn around. I like Brands that understand that we've been heels, we've been in heels, and now we need to be in slippers. How cute! Can't wait to change. What's going on? Critical but stable. <laughs> uh, are you stable? You need to be in there. What is it? Emergency unit. Also, yeah, good pose. How many hours did you sleep? No. Couple of days. Today is Sunday. Um, I was supposed to be traveling today to Angola, Luanda, but um, as I was getting ready and like um, finishing up the packing. I got a call directly from uh, Angola, but they were speaking in Portuguese, so I didn't understand what was going on. So I was assuming there should be some changes with my flight. So I decided to go onto my work emails just to check if I received anything. And I did receive something and it says that my flight has been delayed till tomorrow at 3 a.m. So I obviously was not gonna be heading to the airport at 1 a.m. and like Ubering from my house excuse me so i texted my manager to get his advice and he's like i should just ask if they can book me into a hotel at the airport so that it's easy for me to get to the terminals well airport building um i was going to try book city lodge because it's literally you literally walk inside the airport terminal so it's like from the parking and then you just walk across but still inside the building and you're at the airport terminals but that one is full so um they've booked me into southern sun i think i'm not too sure the distance but at least with the hotels close by they should have shuttles to take you to the airport so i'll just request one of those and i think that's my safer at that time of the morning because um i've checked in so i should be there around like 
latest two i think because the flight is at um 320 i'm actually not feeling too good i have like mouth sores and stuff i think there's like a flu going around and i remembered i have these from the last time i was sick that i got from my sister so i'm just gonna pack them with me to try help because i can already feel that the flu is about to get worse and i obviously have carenza c but a combination of this will make me super super drowsy which is not going to be great because i'm going to be in meetings all day so i'll try maybe just drink them at night just so that they can help me like completely fall asleep so i'll take some today i should actually maybe take some now yeah i think that would be a good idea take some now take some before i sleep but i'm scared that i won't wake up because i need to be up at like one so i'm gonna have to sleep quite early and get like maybe four hours of sleep I think I need to be asleep by like eight. Um, I will try sleep in the plane. I got a window seat, but I'm feeling like very, very cold. So I'm just gonna put on like track pants and a hoodie and sneakers. And then I'm gonna pack long pajamas because I'm obviously sick. But look what I got sent when I was in Cape Town. I got a package from Uplift. Um, they make kombucha. So they saw me post the kombucha on um, my instagram and they asked if they could send me some to try the flavors i've tried these two and i will say i think this has become my fave this was initially my favorite but i kind of feel like i like this one too i've never tried this one i had like a taste from my sister's house the lemon ginger flavored one so i'll definitely taste it when i come back but Thank you so much to Uplift for sending this to me. I truly appreciate it because I don't want to carry my all my um, vitamin capsules. I've literally put a couple in there. I know it's not good, but that's what I've basically done. So let me just finish packing and then I'm going to head off to my sister's. She's making food. I'm going to eat something and then we'll... I'll Uber myself to the airport. Um, I still don't have my car. Two months later, I still don't have a car. Um, I'm hoping that it's ready by the time I come back on Wednesday so that I'm able to just Uber from the airport to collect it and come back because there's just too many things that are going on with those people and it's just really, really annoying. But yeah. I'm all ready to go, all warm. I have an additional, like a small jersey in my bag, my backpack. Um, but yeah, I've tried to pack as light as possible. So yeah, let us get going. I'm off to my sister's now. Um, starting to feel like my throat is starting to become very painful. But I'm just hoping that the medication helps me and I don't get too sick. Um, because flights do tend to make flus worse and so do hotel rooms because you can never fully sleep with the aircon off because I don't know what it is about hotel rooms but they just don't have ventilation in them so I struggle to sleep with the aircon fully off but I'll definitely try tonight because I'm not trying to get my flu to be worse but yeah let me go to my sister's and then I'm gonna head off to the airport and check into the hotel and then yeah, decide what time I will wake up to head to the, to take my flight. Hopefully they don't cancel it again. Thanks, Chaim. See you soon. See you me having to leave the hotel at 1 a.m to catch my flight i guess i'll see you guys in angola hey guys i just arrived in uh luanda well i arrived at five their time which is six hour time it took quite a bit at the airport to get my checked in luggage like the luggage carousel was taking forever it was literally like one bag coming out every two minutes so it took quite a while to get my bag but now i'm here 
same hotel that I stayed at the last time so if you remember almost about a year ago I did travel to Angola but I'm obviously gonna do a, a room tour quick room tour because I have to get ready I don't have much time it's already past eight and I need to shower put my makeup get dressed and then try to eat a little bit of breakfast or maybe just have a croissant or something just to hold my stomach but yeah let me just do a quick room tour to show you guys so this is the door i love this hotel because it's quite spacious if you can look at that but i don't really get to spend much time so this is the door guys these pants i abuse them like they're literally my travel pants because they're so comfortable but that's the door and then we have the walk-in a closet well sort of like walk-in closet and at least they have an iron and then the safe on this side and it's like ample ample space so even if it's like two of you you do have a lot of space in there and then when we get in here this is the bathroom so it has a shower and oh, it has a bath and a shower which i use i don't really use the bath um funny enough i stayed at the same floor the last time just a couple of rooms away from here so yeah and then we've got that mirror in the front then we've got another mirror here as well also love the use of mirrors in here and then we've got our tea area coffee station and then from the coffee station we have the bed quite a spacious bed um yeah it is quite cold in here i think they've had the aircon because my room has been ready since yesterday since i was supposed to arrive yesterday um they didn't cancel the booking because then i would arrive too early and then wouldn't have a room so they just kept the booking going till today so yeah and then there's like a little chill section here and then my view is off the pool it's quite steamy because it's quite hot here I think the last time I could see more of that side, but this time I can see the pool. And yeah, I'm just gonna close these so I can start getting ready and nobody sees me. But this is basically me for now. Well, for two nights. Tonight and tomorrow. And I'm done getting ready. That was the, uh, like feeling exhausted but trying to get ready as quick as possible um, but they've just come to drop this off in my room I think I might just have this because I don't have time to have breakfast Ooh, the lighting here is gorgeous but I don't have time to have breakfast so I'm just going to have this dessert I know this is bad having dessert in the morning and an apple and they've also given a bottle of wine um they always put this i'm guessing this is complimentary but there's no wine opener so i'm guessing you have to ask for them to open it and it's from portugal so yeah one other thing as well whenever i come here they always think i'm portuguese because christine is actually i think a common uh portuguese name and gama the surname as well so if you guys did um history you'd remember there was vasco da gama who was obviously a portuguese sailor and i think he settled in angola for quite a bit so there are quite a, a few people that have the surname gama so even when i'm like at immigration they always speak to me in portuguese and i'm always like i'm so sorry i don't understand portuguese and they're like but you have a portuguese name and i'm like yeah i have a portuguese name but i don't know how to speak Portuguese. Maybe I should learn. I think it's quite easy. It's one of those languages that are like quite easy to learn. So I'll maybe try and learn that, but I need to start with my French very soon. So I'm just gonna quickly eat that dessert. Just try it out and see what it tastes like. And then I was just finishing packing my bag. I'm obviously in my favorite colors, which is full black, because it's always the simplest and um easiest outfit to do especially if it's hot i know i can remove the blazer and i'll be fine with the top even if i do sweat it won't show through but yeah i love braids because imagine if i had a weave right now and trying to like get ready but anyways this is me the corporate girl after the day i've had i don't even understand how i'm still awake it's practically 
what you call toner spilled out like oh, the decanted version spilled mm -hmm. Nothing beats micellar water, like a Garnier micellar water when it comes to removing makeup. Like literally, it literally melts it off. No matter if this thing is wet, I still need to put the micellar water Fully remove. The makeup. We are all ready for bed now. I'm all washed and clean. I've taken a shower. Remove my makeup, did my skincare routine, and now I'm gonna get myself to bed and sleep for a good how many hours? Let's see 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I can sleep till 7. I'll be up at 7 because I need to be done for breakfast around about 9 so that we can leave at 9.45. So yeah, that gives me more than enough time. So that's, what did I say? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a good 9 hours of sleep. So I should be fine by tomorrow. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Sometimes when I look at these beds, I'm just like, this is too big. I honestly sleep on just this piece, yeah? Why do I need the rest on that side? Like, honestly, why do I need the rest on that side? Because I literally sleep on the side. I don't like sleeping close to the door, to be honest. So, I think that's one of the main reasons why I sleep. I'm gonna burn in this so I might just open it up and pull the sleeves up but this is me and then I obviously have the blazer for the meeting that we have because it's with important people um but yeah and then I obviously just have my coach bag which will have like my phone and um my wallet and then my handbag which actually has my laptop so i'm just gonna go down and have like a quick breakfast because we should be leaving at like 9 30 so at least th that gives me about 30 minutes to eat so yeah this is me you can never go wrong with a pair of black pants and white sneakers if you're not planning to wear heels and then just switch up the top so i always have like a couple of black pants and then I just switch up I basically switch up both but not necessarily switching up both because I've been in black pants like 
the entire time so that's a good trick to always have like enough pairs of black pants and then just have either short sleeve or long sleeve shirts i just thought let me have this because it looks more profesh today and we have a more serious meeting this morning but yeah this is my face and i always rave about lashes get yourself some lashes because it will literally save you the stress of your makeup and braids as well will obviously save you the stress of like hair but yeah i guess i'll see you guys later hey guys can you believe today is a saturday i literally had work all day i got home about an hour ago um but yeah i just need to tidy up a bit in the apartment because it is quite messy since i had traveled this week so i just need to tidy up a bit because i've got some filming to do tomorrow i feel like i never feel my weekends because it's either i'm working or it's either i have to film if it's not work it's my nine to five so i feel like i'm forever working but yeah like guys what in the winter is this because it literally didn't even like we didn't have autumn it literally went from hot to cold i'm literally about to bring out my gas heater from hibernation and hopefully i still have gas from the last time i used it last year i think i should still have because i think when i left to go to australia i had my mom had just refilled my gas for me so i think it should still be fairly full and i should still be able to use it because when i came back it was quite warm already it was like 20 something of august when i came back so i think i should still have i'm going to put it on um i just want to quickly wash my face actually um because i don't want to have makeup i'm gonna wash my face change into a gown make myself some food i have some wraps which is nice and easy to make it's quick and then i'm just gonna have some slimsy with it because i miss slimsy if you don't know what slimsy is it's actually a drink that is very low in calories so i really 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 do enjoy it and you can get it from checkers so yeah i just thought i'd come on here and say hi because of course like if you're a vlogger you know you always have to pick up the camera when your face is done um but i actually don't know if i actually vlogged when i got back from angola but yeah i got back on wednesday and yeah it's just been i've just been tired honestly because that trip was just exhausting on its own it was a few days but like i didn't get much rest in between those days so yeah um yeah i think that's it i have for now i'll pick up the camera maybe tomorrow if i if i have the energy i don't know whether i want to stick to sunday uploads because i feel like there's a lot of people that do upload on sundays so i might start editing my vlog and decide whether if i have enough footage whether it goes up tomorrow or whether i want to change my upload uh upload days to another day um but yeah we'll we'll decide you guys can let me know like what's a good day for you guys do you think sunday or do you already have like some of your faves that you watch on a sunday and maybe you'd want me to put the vlogs during the week so yeah let me change into my i'm actually thinking of changing into my onesie because that's warmer because it's really cold my apartment is really cold like i need socks already because my feet are freezing oh and then i did my nails how cute are these i know my hands look shriveled but oh there we go so this is what my nails look like i did this cute color it sort of looks green it sort of looks gray but i think it's more towards like the green so as i was saying it's really 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 nice so i really really like it and i like to go for like um a french because with a french like you don't get to like get annoyed when they start growing out because then the color is like very similar to your nails whereas having like a solid color then that means like in a week i have to change my nails because my nails grow really quickly so the strategy is to always have them plain at the bottom never have a solid color and then i usually do like french or i'll do like nail art or i'll have it plain so yeah this is what they look like um i'll leave my nail takes details in case you're interested these are my own nails so i don't ever put tips or anything like that we just put uh, acrylic overlay and yeah i've just been growing my nails for years now with her they never break um and yeah i just always go and then like we'll do like a fill three times and then we remove that fill and start over again but yeah 
<coughs> we are shorting with a ring. Like if you have brothers, cousins, friends. <laughs> Can I feel something for what it is worth? We're in heaven. 